how to replace a jacuzzi or Sundance hot tub temperature sensor. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you what we had as an error code and what we did to test it. First thing you want to do is you want to turn off your jacuzzi hot tub. Then empty your hot tub. Take the side panel off where your keypad is. Locate the spa pack and take the front door off. Find a temp sensor printed on the circuit board on the top left corner. Cut the old temp sensor. The old sensor goes into a piece of flex pipe. Unscrew the temperature sensor. Next, cut the sensor about two inches from the sensor itself. Remove the white O-ring from the old sensor. Put the O-ring on the new heat sensor. Put a little bit of silicone around the O-ring. Take the new sensor and put it in line with the old sensor and tape them together. Next, push it into the pipe. You won't be able to push it in all the way, so just don't force it. Make sure that the new sensor wire is not gonna be all tangled up when you end up pulling it through there. Next, pull the old sensor wire through the pipe. Try and get somebody from inside the tub to feed the new sensor through. It's a little easier. Once you get the new heat sensor pulled through, start screwing it in. And you want to tighten this just snug. You don't want to over tighten it. Plug your new sensor in and put the door back on the spa pack. Next, we're going to show you what we had on our top side, what we did to test it, and what we did to reset the system. This is what was on the top side when we turned on the power to the GFI. As you can see, we have an overheat message with a GFCI trip. Because I carry an extra heat sensor, I could do this next test here. So what I do is I take a glass of warm water, I disconnect the sensor for the high limit, and I put in the new heat sensor. Then I put the both sensors in a glass of water, which is normally warm, and then I reset the system and see if it's a sensor or not. Most people don't carry an extra sensor, so follow the next steps. Normally we can just jumper the sensor and we can tell if it's working or not, but because of the jacuzzi, how their system works, that even if we put a brand new sensor in, we couldn't tell if it was working or not. You had to reset the system. Instead of going out and buying a sensor because it could be a board issue, you could jump it, reset the system, and then see if it's the sensor. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to show on this board how we jump sensors. So this is the one I normally use. So to do the sensors, I just stick it on there. It's an old, it's an old sensor, so I just tied it off. There's my jumper. The next one I'll link down below. They're good to have, especially if you have a jacuzzi, because you get these error codes all the time. So it's good to have a jumper. You just take it off after. See, you can put that on or this, any type of little jumper that will stay like that. Reset the system. And how you reset the system, I'm going to show you right now. This hot tub and this circuit board is from a J375 2020. This is not going to work on all jacuzzi hot tubs. It all depends on the year. If you're not sure how to reset your system, send us a comment down below and we'll see if we can help you out. How to reset a jacuzzi hot tub when it's in Watchdog. 
First thing you want to do is turn off your GFI breaker. Next, locate J68 on the circuit board. Put your jumper on J68. Turn the GFI on. Wait 15 seconds. After waiting 15 seconds, turn off the breaker. Remove the jumper from J68. Turn the GFI breaker back on. The jacuzzi watchdog seems to be gone.